we are taking mail and parcels for the Royal Mail Group, so that's for Royal Mail and for Parcel Force. Um, and we also will engage with other logistical providers to the island as well, so we can move what they need to be moved as well. We're flying a couple of times a day and taking all the mail to North Romsey. We've got an autonomous vehicle here. It can take 100 kilos over a thousand kilometres, so we can really um, we can really cover the whole of Orkneys very easily. And we're here to really to, to make a big difference to these island communities. There's no reason why you shouldn't have your post just at the same time as anybody else in the rest of the UK. And really, this is a sort of levelling up, getting rid of these logistical bottlenecks that have, that have existed for decades, if not hundreds of years. We're here as part of the SAITS project. We've got some great partners in High Al and other local communities at EMEC and the University at Highlands and Islands. It's a super place. We've got this wonderful hangar here that's been set up for the project as well. So um, yeah, we're, we're here, we're comfortable. Yeah, lovely to be here. Orkney was the ideal place to set up this environment. There's, there's a few reasons for that, not least of which is the buy-in from a, from a local community. People, are, people in Orkney are really excited around um, renewables and, and diversity, sustainability. Um, so hopefully one of the benefits of this long term will be that we, we manage to improve connectivity as well. For High Isle, it's, it's the Sustainable Aviation Test Environment is, is the first step to a, a wider goal of, of decarbonising aviation in, in the north of Scotland and the islands. One of the key metrics that um, parcel delivery is going to look at going forward is the, the, the imprint on the environment of getting that delivery to you. So uh, if we can deliver an item uh, in a cost effective way for customers but also in a way that doesn't particularly harm the environment then that, that's got to be a bonus. It's absolutely key that the aviation industry um, manages to, to, to make itself more sustainable and reduce its carbon footprint. It's a very, very fuel efficient, so you know, it is significantly lower in its carbon outputs. Um, and we have, in the future, we will move to having an electric version for shorter, shorter uh, distances, and we're looking at hydrogen powered vehicles as well. But um, yeah, so really at the moment, this is, this is really the most capable UAV in the civilian market at the moment, 100 kilos over 1,000 kilometers.